I got the best name for this shop in the comments of a video. The Black Pearl. The, wait, <clears throat> the Black Pearl. We're gonna sell Ender Pearls. Did I say that? I don't think I did, maybe I didn't. We're gonna sell Ender Pearls and it's gonna be called the Black Pearl. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to me and me and Richard. <laughs> We're hanging out. Richard is slaving and pooping up more emeralds. Look at this, two thousand nine hundred emeralds. Oh, <laughs> it's insane. And remember, every one of this is uh, two diamonds. <laughs> so every one of this uh, is uh, eight gold or sixteen iron. It's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. R Richard, the proud of you, dude. We're <laughs> proud of you. But anyway, dudes, like I said, welcome back to another episode of Fool Craft. Hello, dudes. Last time we worked on the uh, uh, the Area 85, uh, and you guys were loving the new design. So thank you, dude, so much for the uh, very kind words. I was very, very happy to uh, to see that you guys liked this. There was a, a lot of good suggestions for how uh, how we can do make this. Uh, make this uh, even more interesting like uh, in the future uh, one dude suggested something i want to check out that i haven't used in a long time futura blocks these guys these are actually moving chisel and bit uh, or chisel blocks i think oh yeah but with optifine they're broken i remember yeah because they are super cool they have like a a cool moving screen but when you use optifine this happens so <laughs> that kind of sucks i wonder if the uh wonder if any of these work no, same issue. What about the these guys? They work. Yeah, they work. So these are like applied and logistics uh, um, blocks, basically. They they work a little bit different, but almost the same. And that's like a very cool color add. Because remember how I said I need I need some color here. Um, so that's something we could add. I think I want to remove this fan. Actually, that being said, maybe we put one of those in there. Yeah, that's better actually. I like that tiny change, but I like it. What else was here? Uh, very fa fabulously wavy and ooh, purple ME controller. Hold on, that's a new one. Oh. Oh, why could this not have been a scallium? This is why could that not have been an scallium color thing? I mean, it's still very useful as like a wire thing if you hide this block and that block. Behind, right? That could look super, super, super sexy. Super sexy. But yeah, long story short, thank you, dude, so much for the love and support. Now, uh, since then, I did a stream. As I said in the video, I was going to stream that evening, so Friday evening. We had Fool's Friday, and it was absolutely amazing. So many people turned out. We had a great time. And we raided two roguelike dungeons. So, all in all, we did a lot of... Uh, 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 I didn't do any progressive stuff because I promised you guys that, you know, we're not going to do that. I did craft up an enchantment extractor. So say you find a diamond chest plate, for example, with uh, some stuff on it that you want. I'm breaking fire protection soulbound. Put it in here, put some books in, and boom. It's going to split the enchantment. So fire protection, and now we're going to get soulbound. Very cool. Very cool. So we did that machine. And then I also crafted up the tool manipulator from Mega Loot. Because uh, this thing can upgrade or break down tools. And I created the evolution chamber for Mega Loot. And we did a bunch of upgrading. Uh, emerald. We did a bunch of upgrading. These were all the garbage emeralds that I had left. Uh, that's uh, just very low level. So I think I'm just gonna... Uh, I, could, I could hold on to them. I could hold on to them. Uh, so we did that. And all in all, I think we popped about five epic cases. And... We got one good thing. Look at this thing here. The Ice Blade. This dude has a, a, a 24 attack damage and 1.84 attack speed, which results in a 44 damage per second metric. Right? It's so freaking good. Also has slows down enemies for one second on hit, blinds enemies for one second on hit, and leeches 29% of damage dealt. So it has life leech as well. Uh, in addition, though, it has six upgrade slots, which is the best roll. So we can upgrade this bad boy uh, if we want to later i don't know if that's necessary because on a weapon like there aren't a whole lot of attributes that i would really want um but 
this is this is a really good sword. So after we got this, we went back to the roguelike, and holy crap, this this makes the whole roguelike experience so much quicker, so much quicker. So we're probably this week, this coming week, not today, because I'm actually playing a PUBG tournament uh, in a few hours from when you're watching this video. So maybe head over to my Twitch channel and say hi, I'm a crazy fool, and uh, just cheer me on, even though you're not interested in pub. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do, uh, or, or on Tuesday, we'll do a stream where we uh, where we do some more roguelike dungeons. Because I had a lot of fun doing this with you dudes. I also enchanted it with Sharpness, Leech, uh, some more Life Leech, Mending, and Looting 3. Uh, so now we have a really, really good weapon. Here's the thing though, dudes. I also saved one case for us to pop today. I'm gonna save it a little bit longer. We're gonna do it later, okay? <laughs> we're gonna, I don't want to be that guy, but we're gonna do it a little bit later. Um, because to start off today, um, I hope you guys are, like, those of you who don't watch Twitch, weirdos, but for those of you who don't, uh, I hope you're you're fine with me, like, doing non-progressive stuff on Twitch. You can always watch the VOD there if, you, if you're interested. I had a great time anyway. Um, but today, what I want to do to start off today's episode... I would like to take a trip downtown. Downtown! I haven't been around the full city in a while. Actually, I should wait for uh, daytime. Yeah, so I want to head back to Town Hall, dudes, because I haven't been here in so long. And by the way, for those of you who are still messaging me on comments saying, Oh, you didn't do F5. There's a new rule. There has been a new rule for a while now, dudes. Like, <laughs> did you miss an episode or something? Jeez, man. Uh, I think we got some new tasks as well. Some new... The, the tasks are on this side. Uh, dear, dear Diary, Get Well, Fool, and Secret Admirer. They're all new. Um... But I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Maybe I'll do those live on a stream instead. Uh, for now, what I want to do today, what I want to focus on is possibly looking into the possibility of buying myself a plot. Did I get anything? Oh, we got more money in here. Living wage. Nice. Oh, $150? Dude, that's insane. Okay. Okay. Okay, what is this? Anonymous declaration just for you. Sound cow statue. Oh, someone someone gave me an anonymous gift. Thank you. Good's chicken parmesan. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm definitely taking this. Good is such a good uh, chef. I've eaten his food in real life. <laughs> oh, fortune cookie. Hello. How do you make a fortune cookie? That's a really good food. That's cool. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you whoever gave me the cow statue. It's... um. Be beautiful. Hello, cow. But like I said, dudes, I do want to check out this freedom. Come on, dude. Still garbage on the floor here. I do want to check out the um, the town here and see if we can afford a plot. Specifically now that we have... Oh my goodness, we are so rich. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do what I always do here. So let's break these down to uh, $10 bills. There we go. And these uh, as well to fivers and then 10 So I can say, okay, 56 times $10. We are freaking rich, dudes. Like, I don't know how many millions that are, but it's, but it's quite a bit. Uh, we need 1,200 to rent that one. Okay, so every plot has a price to rent. Uh, and I think the more central they are, so like down this uh, state, uh, state uh, avenue is, is going to be pretty expensive. But maybe down here we can afford something. 1,200. So how much is this? 56, 10, 4. 560 million dollars. Okay, so we can basically buy whatever we want, but we should probably keep this number below 560. Hmm. I know Ren's plot was like 200. Pfft, cheap. Cheap garbage plot, am I right? <laughs> what down? What about here? Down 3rd Street? No, still expensive. Oh, this one is, this one is cheap. Okay, an 11 by 11. So kind of a tiny, tiny one on the outskirts. Not really visible from Town Hall. Which is a little bit of an issue, but I mean, with the right marketing, this one is is also a good one. Um, I feel like Ren got a bargain on this plot here. Well, he has this he has this crap in the backyard there that he can't change, so that's that's a thing. Like a, a a prime position, right, for a big shop would be like this location. Oh my goodness, or or this location. Down by the harbor here, there's no bridge over here, so people will have to fly over here or whatever. But uh, you get a 15 times 10 one for 200. So you get a pretty big one down by the boardwalk here. I kind of feel like later this season, this, this plot here may be very valuable. Like 200 for this is not bad. Purchase for a thousand? 
Oh, I'm I'm almost I'm almost like it's almost like we could buy it. I think we have a little bit too little though, but we can almost buy it. Um because obviously buying is always gonna be better than renting. Yeah, I feel this is miss this gotta be mispriced. Look at this. 200 rent. This is 600. This is 600. This is like the best one here. Buy the board. I think I think this is the one. This is the one. Far away from Ren's freaking cheese shop. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rent this plot. Rent uh plot number 37. The rental price is per week and payments can be made in the town hall deposit box. Same goes for the plot purchases. Once you paid, you will receive a deed for the land after the government has verified your payment. Have fun, be foolish, you are we are watching. Okay, so basically, um to this weird government, <laughs> we will put it was two hundred dollars. So that's that's that, right? That's that's yeah, I think that's it. Dear government, I hereby enter marriage with plot 37. I shall rent her for now. <laughs> plot 37 rent agreement. Okay, okay, we'll just do that. I hope it was 37. Boom. But that will be the payment for that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna receive a deed here. Uh, once the government uh, sends one of their people over to... Uh, to confirm that, I assume, but we can start building already. Was it 37? Let's just make sure. Yes, plot 37. Next to the boardwalk. This is beautiful, man. This is such a prime location. Did I not make a bargain? Did I not make, like, the biggest deal of the century on this plot, dudes? <laughs> I feel like I did. This is gonna be good. So, uh, we gotta plan out a shop here. And I'm kind of thinking, because we're down here, it could be, like, some kind of beach, beach shop for now. Doesn't have to be a massive building or anything, you know. We can we can be kind of smart about this uh, because we're still very early in the season. All right, dude. So uh, I've got a little bit of a plan. I've been thinking a lot about the build that I want to make, uh, and we're gonna play with something really awesome that I don't think you dudes have seen before. That this thing here. We're gonna play with this. I'm gonna show you dudes this in a minute or uh, a little bit later. Oh crap, restarting in five minutes. Always, always the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play with vending machines uh, for this shop because there is a there is a potential court case going on on, on Foolcraft right now. State with the Rendog versus Stress Monster in 100,000 because someone bought 10 instead of a full stack. Coming up soon. Uh, <laughs> a court case and we want to avoid that and I think I got a plan for how to do that But I've been thinking about uh, our building down at the boardwalk I've been looking at a lot of pictures from like the uh, 1940s and stuff uh, and I think we can make something uh, Really cool. Uh, however since it's early like I don't have a lot of materials and one material that I would like to uh, To use to build this is a new block from Biomes of Plenty white sandstone this stuff here Looks absolutely fantastic. Has a lot of different uh, different options, and I think I think I think we can make this look great with like this tile to make it look uh, the correct era and stuff like that. Um, and I mean, we may we may change this building up later, right? Uh, however, white sand requires us to find uh, white uh, sand beaches, or we can make it. We can make it as in a in an igneous extruder with a plastic. Deposition. So a little bit of a side route here. We're gonna try and get this going. Uh, igneous extruder is easy enough to craft. I should be able to do that. I had prepared it all, but I must have used that <laughs> rod thing, that coil. Um, and we want to throw uh, two upgrades on it, which I've already prepared here. I think I'm gonna put this dude back here. By the way, a lot of you guys said that I needed to change this cable out, and you're absolutely right. So I had. I was limiting my power production due, uh, because of this cable before, but now I changed that out to the Invar one, and now it, we're all good. I think for now, I it requires quite a bit of power if I if I don't um, misremember. So I'm gonna use boop, gonna put it right here. Very very temporary. Remember, all of these modules will get their own place in the in the area 85. Uh, so what we do is we switch this. Okay, we can make these blocks without the augment upgrade. Cool. But let's put some upgrades on this guy and let's put a speed augment. The other augment we need, I looked into this, uh, the callistic thing. This guy requires these parts here and erotium dust. Now, I have everything except the erotium dust. And the erotium dust is made from niter, redstone, and blitz powder. Blitz powder we can get from blitz rods or we could set up a... Uh, fluid transposer and infuse niter with mob essence, which 
as you dudes know, we have a crap ton of <laughs> mob essence because of our ore doubler machine. So we could do that, but I feel like I feel like it could be good to uh, to try and find a blitz or two instead because we do have looting on the sword. Uh, blitz are from uh, thermal expansion and they spawn in. <sighs> Hot biomes. They are the yellow ones. I think it's desert, savannas, maybe mesas, that kind of stuff. Um, ooh, speaking about the devil. That kind of stuff. So we gotta go and explore a little bit. And if we look at our journey map, uh, I did actually scout around. I found a, what looks to be a mesa up here. Uh, that's the only biome I found that is like hot. Uh, so we have a waystone over here, way out north. Is what I'm calling it. Way up north. This is the super laggy area. Yeah, we're right here. Uh, this is the super laggy area with this with this forest. So I'm gonna try and cross that and head to that mesa if I can. It's this way. Ooh, a chance cube. Oh, I'll take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. <laughs> oh, and there's a blitz. Okay, so they do spawn in the mesa as well. That's great. Did I get that? Oh, I got three rolls. Perfect. That's all I actually need. I'm happy about that. I'm just gonna just gonna see if I can get a couple of more here. Oh, there's Kyle. What's he doing out here? Oh, he <laughs> he drops tiny ones. <laughs> oh, this sword is so freaking OP though, man. It's so freaking OP. A creeper with a creeper statue head. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I can pretty much one-shot everything that's unarmored. In the final levels of the roguelike dungeon, I two-shot in most things. And remember, the attack speed of this bad boy is insane as well. Hey, dude. I could have also caught him, I guess. We want to pulverize these. I think all of them. Because that gives us more blitz powder and it gives us niter or has a chance to get niter, which we got there. Oh, we got niter from killing them as well. Nice, because we need niter to create the erothium. Erothium. So now, erothium... Nice. I like it. And I'm only gonna create two, because that's all I need for now. Augment. So now we can make this dude. Boom. Then we're gonna need a bucket of lava. I don't think it consumes the lava. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't, but it does consume water to do its operation. Uh, which have me thinking that I should probably pick another spot for this, <laughs> even though we picked that spot just a second ago. Because we have our water automation down here. So hopefully this can run out of ADR of Pratik, but uh, we'll see. So we'll put this guy in here, and that gives us access to a bunch of stuff. Um, limestone, dried sand. Oh, we can make dried sand with this. Good job, Skola, for including that. So we want to make uh, sandstone, white sandstone. Boom, boom, boom. That will do. And then we'll set the back to insert. That fills it with water. Nice. And let's see if I'm right here about this. So insert lava. Hopefully it doesn't consume the lava, because I don't have production of lava. Yes, it doesn't. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So it's just going to sit there and produce white sandstone pretty slowly, though. Uh, what I wouldn't mind doing is having, like, a chest on top of there, or a drawer. Again, temporary setup. <laughs> I realize I say a lot of temporary setup, but I, I mean it. Like, we're going to... You, you saw that last episode. We, we, we did some building. So we'll do that, and that will just uh, push out to there. Nice. Okay. All right, so this is very slow. I only need like maybe 10 stacks, but I, I don't want to run out of blocks. So I'm in the process of putting another upgrade on him, an upgrade kit. The Signalium one is the next one, which requires Cryothium, which is another uh, one of these blitz. This is from the Blizz, which spawns in cold biomes. But for this one, I think we're going to try this thing instead. So a fluid transposer filling snowballs creates the bliss powder. Snowballs I have. I'm in a snow biome. <laughs> Freaking mountains. And I made a, a fluid transposer. So let's put those in there. And then I think I can just grab a bucket of our essence. And boom. And hopefully that will start doing a thing. Hello. Are you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's slow. <laughs> Oh, that is terrifying. Terrifying slow. Terrifying slow? <laughs> Terrifyingly slow. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I have a lot of fun over my own stupidity. D don't, don't freaking judge me, okay? Don't freaking judge me. Get upgraded. Boom. Not that we need it, because it's almost already done. So, it takes... Okay, you can create... Wow, from, from one bucket you can create five Blitz Powder. That's pretty impressive. And that's much quicker with two augments. I like it. All right, so we got that. And now I should be able to do another upgrade kit. 
Uh, yep. Okay, Blazing Pyrothium, Cryothium, and Signalium thing. Nice. Every single upgrade kit speeds this up, by the way, by default. Oh, it's the power. Oh, I should have looked at that first. Yeah, unless we are providing it with 150 RF here, it's not gonna matter, though. Because remember what I said, they throttle. So I'm also gonna need to run a wire down there. All right, there we go. So now you're getting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And now... How quick are you producing? That's much better. <laughs> That's so much better. Okay, so let's just quickly, right, take a look at these. Uh, how they look in real life. These were the ones that I felt looks really good. Because we may want to add some chisel and bit stuff, but we definitely don't want to overdo it. Another quick little thing we got to do here in the base. Uh, because I'm going to use, uh, I'm planning on using some screens from extra utilities. Is to put up a chunk loader. Now, we have these configured to load only one chunk, I think, <laughs> in the pack. Because I, I'm not a big fan of chunk loading, but we do need to load our GP. Uh, so we'll put that there, and that should at least load four of them. Uh, so that's cool. Hello, Big Cheese. You're about to get a competition for a store in town. <laughs> oh, the beautiful board workshop. Um, all right. Did I tell you guys what we're even going to sell? I don't know if I did. But I got the best name for this shop in the comments of a video. The Black Pearl. The, wait, <clears throat> the black pearl. We're gonna sell ender pearls. Did I say that? I don't think I did. Maybe I didn't. We're gonna sell ender pearls. And it's gonna be called the black pearl. Uh, but alright, so with a plot, Ren didn't do this, but we are allowed to take these uh, fence gates down. But maybe I'll keep them there for a second. Um, and let's just try and sketch this out, right? The hardest, star uh, hardest part is starting. Um, the way these shops usually look, because I don't want it to be big because of the way I'm gonna do it, is there is like a storage, almost like if you watch Storage Wars, or if you know about storage rooms that you can rent, it, it feels like even in the 1920s, in the vintage area, they had like the same design. So we're gonna create like a big box looking thing here. And I'm planning to do something a bit special, because this is my plot. I may, oh it's 10, yeah, it's, uh, is that centered? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. I'm planning on opening two shops here. Because we don't need uh, all the space for just one shop when it's a board workshop. They are, they are, they are historically very, very small, right? So we're gonna do something like that. The shop is gonna be here. It's only gonna be like a, a window shop, a facade. Uh, like, like a newsstand, which I think I said earlier. So something like that. And the big thing that signifies these uh, shops is that they all have a big sign. I want to try and use these screens from Extra Utilities because, I mean, if we can design something in Photoshop, we can be so much more, uh, it can be, it can look so much more beautiful at the end of the day than just chiseling and bidding. So Stress just came by here and she's like, ooh, yep, not much more to it was the plot I was going to rent. It's such a good one, I know, right? Right on the pier. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> she was gonna rent this plot. <laughs> Dudes, we came here just the right hours. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, but check this out. I've been working a little bit researching vintage signs. And this is what I've come up with. The famous Black Pearl since 1929. Um, I don't know what year it is in Foolcraft at the moment. But we're trying to go with like the same style that we did in uh, City of Maybe. Like old New York. Uh, that being said, we're gonna have vending machines, we're gonna have digital screens, etc. So, it's not that important. Uh, but, one important thing why I brought you back here, I really like the sign, I hope you dudes do as well. But, this, uh, this is a trick that I didn't know about. This resolution of this image is 1280 times 720 uh, which fits perfectly in an even number of screens. Very annoying, <laughs> but this is a 6 wide by 3. Um, thing it should be three by by three by one for example right but uh, it isn't you have to use even numbers so that being said we're gonna have like a middle wall here which is not gonna look too bad and this is an even number so it's a four wide opening um, 
But yeah, I'm starting ju uh, now, just now to like get a little bit of detail. But again, looking at pictures, there's not a lot of detail in these shops. It's basically one massive sign and that <laughs> that's basically the shop. All right, so I'm slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> I'm struggling a lot. I think I've spent about an hour looking at the time, uh, about an hour on just getting it to look like this from the last cutscene. Uh, we tried a lot of different things, but I think it's it's slowly getting there. What I want, like I've been looking at vintage interior board workshops. They're all very crammed and that's the kind of the feeling I want. So I went with like a spruce ceiling, went with like a weird looking uh, oak uh, <laughs> pattern in the floor. It's basically mm -hmm. meant to look a little bit uh, torn torn up from all the customers that we've had, obviously. Uh, and I got, I got a desk back here. We got to find a, a dude. Uh, Richard's cousin is going to be the guy who stands here. Uh, but I got some some things together that we can put in here because we wanted to make it look very crammed. And from Malice's doors, there are these curtains. Oh, yeah, that's what you can do with them. And that, yeah, that makes it look like a, like a tarot reader or something. Oh, come in, dear. Come in, dear customer. Let me read your palm. I foresee for you a very long and healthy life watching Foolcraft every single day. Well played on your part. Very well played, son. But that's not really what we're doing. <laughs> but I think it still looks pretty cool. Uh, there is, uh, since we don't have Tinker's Construct, a lot of people are like, oh, I would like a drying rack. We do have these tool racks instead from cooking from for blockheads, which you can hang things on. So maybe we can sprout those about a little bit. Uh, the vending machine that we're going to use, I'm going to show you dudes how this works, don't worry, like I said earlier, or I think I said earlier, this isn't in 1.2 of Foodcraft or 1.1.1, you gotta have the 1.3 update, these are enabled, so currently, a recording of this video, these are not enabled, due to a communication miss between me and Skoda, so, uh, they will totally be enabled in your version as well, you can enable them if you want in your config, uh, but yeah, if we put that to the side, because this is going to be where you buy your render pearls, I think that looks really good, and we would need something over on this side. I would love a pedestal. I think the Thormcraft one, this guy, oh, it needs an arcane workbench. Ah, crap, because I can totally make the arcane stone. Give me that. Can I put an item on here, specifically an ender pearl? It's very black. Oh, I can. Okay, so maybe that could be cool. <laughs> it makes it look even more tarot because of what an ender pearl is. <laughs> Didn't think about that. All right, dude, so I'm really struggling with this, or I was really struggling with this, so I decided let's open another one next to it, because that was the plan all along. But with this screen up here and with a little bit of design, this comes together a lot better as well. Fool's Blaze! Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Now, first of all, I just want to say I haven't drawn this picture myself. I found it online. Hold on, let me find out who made it. One second, I wrote it down. Yeah, a dude called True Core Fire on Divine Art. Uh, so True True Core Fire True Core Fire dot made this uh, blaze, and he allowed others to use it in videos and stuff. So I snagged it. I thought it looked uh, looked good, and hopefully he's okay with that. Otherwise, I'll otherwise I'll have to uh, take it down. Uh, but I just thought that looked really cool. I of course added the text, and you know, yeah, he drew the blaze basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that looks fantastic. I really, really like the look of that. Uh, and the idea is that why not sell blaze powder in here? I wonder if this works. So we got totem in the in the pack. Uh, and with this, you can carve things in. I've used this a lot in Sevtech. If you're, uh, it's like a mini beacon. Uh, but there's a blaze one. Can I? Oh, I can shape that. Oh, but it didn't. I was hoping that it would look like dead wood. The best one to do this with would be like ebony wood, but I don't have that yet. So what if I do this, and then let's see if this wood sticks. No, that's also just oak. Uh, yeah, so let me show you how these work. They are really awesome uh, working. So uh, whenever you place one of these uh, vending machines down, it will recognize you as the owner, right? So it will, it will, it, it, you, you will be the owner that will never change. Uh, now, to configure them, you got to press this button. And let's see if I remember this. So if I, yeah, we put whatever we want to sell in here. And I'm actually going to need more enderpearls. I thought I could do this with just uh, 12. Because I want to sell them in stacks of 16. Let's do the blazes first. Uh, which I can't do either. Because <laughs> I don't have enough. Oh, actually, with blazes, we're going to sell in stacks of 10. Hmm. We want to see. Here's the thing. 
here's the issue on the server, right? We want to force people to buy more than they need or less than they need. So think of packaging. A package of eggs is six eggs, usually, in Sweden at least. But you usually want 10 eggs, but then you have to buy 12, you can't buy 10. So that's a little bit of like vending tricks and stuff. We want to do the same here. So, oh, it can maximum do 16? Okay, so that's fine. We'll sell stacks of 16 blaze rods in this guy. And then what you do to configure this is you're going to go on this guy and you select the slot and then the price for it. So... For 16 blaze rods, let's charge, let's charge, hmm. so the plot is $200 a week, we gotta make that, we gotta break even at least, and I would like to make a profit, let's charge 40, does Ren charge $100 for a stack of the, uh, of the, of the, of the food, that's quite expensive, let's charge $50, $50 for 16 blaze rods. That may be a lot, but you get $150 a week for free without doing anything. And there are a lot of jobs and stuff that you can do. So $50, and then we got to set the amount to 16, so that buys the entire thing. So now, this is what people see when they go in here. 16 for $50. And if they have money on them, let me show you this. This is so freaking cool, dudes. So if they got money on them... Uh, this will turn green. No, they got to put the money in. Okay, so five tenors put in there. Boom. Now I put $50 in. So now I can, boom, take a stack out. And that's sold out. How cool is that, dudes? I really, really like it. We could also sell them like one for uh, $5 or whatever. Maybe that's better, but then people can specify... All right, dude, so check this out. I added a little bit of a, a thing here with a blaze, a hot lamp, just to draw attention. And I configured these, I finished configured these. The way we're going to do it is uh, 16 for $50, like we did. And then I added $5 for one. Uh, and I also added blaze powder, $2 for one. Because you get two blaze powder for one blaze rod. But to make it back to a blaze rod, uh, you need a bit of infrastructure. So uh, this is a cheaper way to get blaze powder right now. Encouraging people to use my shop, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if this is... I mean, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see if we make any sales. I also did the Enderman and I added two Enderman statues. I changed this to a withering Ender Pearl, unstable Ender Pearl, which I mean fits better with the name. The famous Black Pearl. That's the famous Pearl right there. Hello, famous Black Pearl. Uh, <laughs> and the prices for these $50 for 16 Ender Pearls or $5 for one Ender Pearl. I also added uh, $1 per Enderman head. So. That's also a possibility to purchase. I know these are useful in some Ender.io machines. I'm not expecting them to sell, but we're adding them anyway. So that's uh, finishing that up. And I'm very, very, very happy with the outcome. Even though <laughs> this took me way longer than I expected it to take. I also did another marketing smart trick because it's called Fool Smart. I added a waystone over here called Boardwalk that people can activate. And, you know, it's just to get people to, to come to this city of the, or part of the city and start their journey here. Because, obviously, it's more beautiful to start your journey here. You can always stop by Fool's Blaze and the famous Black Pearl. Now, dudes, uh, here's the thing, okay? We're going to do marketing for this probably in a stream uh, this coming week where we're going to visit the bases. I like what Ren did. But I would like to involve you dudes as well, okay? I would like a few of you, or as many as freaking possible, to go to the other fool's videos, the latest video they have, and market this for me. It, it, inform them about about uh, 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 about Fool's Blaze and <laughs> the famous Black Pearl and the opening. And, and like, tell them whatever. Be like, oh my goodness, have you not heard about the best shop in town or the best shop in the world? Like, things like that. So please be my little marketers. Marketers. That would be great. But we're going to do some marketing in that stream soon as well. But anyway, this video is getting long. Let's go back home. Let's go back home. And I promised you earlier that we're going to pop this guy. And I've been waiting all day to do this. So I would like to do it. I'm going to put these guys in here. Boop, 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 boop. Something wrong with my poops later. Poopsie. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I am. Yeah. Let's pop this epic mega loot case. Like I said, I got this together with some of you dudes from the stream. So, here we go. I would love a pickaxe. I would love a pickaxe. We got a pickaxe, okay? This is our very first epic pickaxe right there. 
the band-aid and I can see that it gives me night vision when hold when held uh, Okay, 20 mining speed. <laughs> That's like the worst you can get it rolls 20 to 40. I think uh, Night vision when held upgrades five gods super poop. Let's uh, Let's put it in here. And let's disenchant it. This skin will get saved when I disenchant it So later I can reskin a pickaxe when I find a good one uh, So that gets saved and also I get some epic shards mm -hmm. Which we can recycle eventually into new cases. Epic shards. I got eight. Oh my goodness! It takes nine to craft a to craft a case, so that's eh, uh, almost almost a new case. Almost a new case. You also need the epic shards if you want to do upgrade charms later. So yeah, it's good to collect them. But anyway, dudes, thank you guys so much for the love and support of a fool craft. I hope everybody have enjoyed this episode. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. Now go market the famous black pearl and go market the fool's place. <laughs> we need we need the people to know. Tell the world. Mama, haven't you heard we sold our Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode. <laughs>